What's up everybody, Way of the Bay here, and today I'm going to be going over the B158 Random Booster Volume 19. So this is Beyblade News, I'm going to be going over news, and we finally have pictures of the Random Booster. Originally we only had a shadowy silhouette, and now we have pictures and we know what's going on with this Random Booster, what the prize bay is, and what's going on, and I'm going to be going over all this in detail. And first I'm going to go over its release date, and it's being released September 22nd, so this month, the 22nd, so in 2020. So, pretty excited. It's coming. It's near. And this is going to be a pretty cool random booster because it's all golden Beyblades, or almost all golden Beyblades. And if you want to know where I'm getting all my news from, it's from the Beyblade Burst unofficial information site. So, before I go over this random booster, first I have to explain what a gold turbo Beyblade is or what a golden Beyblade is. And once I'm done with that, then this random booster will make a lot more sense. So I'm going to go over that, then the Beyblades and what pieces they come with, then a little more details about this random booster. So, first off, a gold turbo Beyblade first showed up in the anime, and pretty much what it is, is whenever a Beyblade, it's like an awakening, sort of, with its blader and all that, and you had to be some sort, like, a specific level blader or something like that, and it turned into a gold Beyblade, it went gold turbo was its name, and it was all golden, it had a lot more power, and it was just something special, kind of like an awakening or gimmick for these Beyblades for GT. That was just something they made up in the anime, and they do that a lot. But um, it was called Gold Turbo. And lots of Beyblades, whenever Takartomi made a, a way for you to get a golden Beyblade of most of the Beyblades. From Judgment Joker, Venom Diabolos, Union Achilles. You had a chance of getting a golden Beyblade. It's kind of like a shiny Pokemon. You have a one out of something chance. It's easier than a shiny Pokemon, but you still had a chance of getting a golden Beyblade. It was only the base and the chip that was golden, but it was still a gold turbo Beyblade, which was really cool. And this random booster has the golden Beyblades that weren't released as golden. The Beyblades that weren't a gold turbo had a chance of being gold was Slash Valkyrie because that had a lottery prize. That was a lottery prize Beyblade. It's a golden form. And Ace Dragon, because Ace Dragon was the first release. I don't think they planned this. Or if they did, Takara told me he's planning far. But um, Ace Dragon didn't get a release. And the random layer of volume boosters. Yes, Dread Bahamut was a random layer. But it w came with Lord Spriggan also. And Lord Spriggan was gold. So, so Dread Bahamut was also gold. So that's why there's no Dread Bahamut here. Because it already has a gold form when it was released with Lord Spriggan. So, Grand Rock... And Ace didn't have a golden form, but Ace Dragon, you were able to get a golden Ace Dragon through some sort of, it was pretty complicated, piece by piece you were able to make it. So it does have a gold form, Ace does have a gold form. So Grand Rock, Poison Hydra, and Knockout Odin, those Beyblades do not have golden forms. And that's what this random booster is filling up. They're allowing you to com complete your golden Beyblade collection if you are focused on that. And if you're a collector, this is great for you because so very cheap. You don't have to buy a whole bunch of Beyblades just to get a gold form. You are now able to get it in this random booster. So now I can go on with this random booster. That's why they're all gold. So Burn Phoenix, that is its prize. That's the prize bay you see right there. The main red and silver Beyblade right there. It's a Metal Series remake. And Burn Phoenix comes with a yell as its disc and wedge as its driver. So these aren't its exact colors. The driver, the drivers you're going to be seeing, those aren't its exact color. We don't know what it is. This is just the picture I have for it. And Yell, all the discs in this random booster are their normal color. There's no painted discs because painted discs don't come in random boosters. So, Burn Phoenix, Yell Wedge. Then we have Grand Dragon because Grand Dragon didn't get a gold form. Grand Dragon comes with Arrow Dash as its disc, lift as its frame, and flugel as its driver. And it comes with the go weight as for its layer. So that's a pretty cool Beyblade. Then we have a golden rock dragon, because there was no gold rock dragon. And it comes with grand dragon, five as its disc, and jaggy dash as its driver. First time we have a jaggy dash, so that's pretty cool. And it's in, it has the so weight for its weight. So rock dragon, five, jaggy dash, so. Then we have Poison Hydra, another gold Beyblade that hasn't been released yet. So Poison Hydra comes with 8 dash as its disc, angle as its frame, and fusion dash as its driver. And it does come with a golden gen weight. So golden gen weight, gen, the gen weight's not really a weight, it's like a burst stopper or a burst slower. 
So it's going to be really cool getting it in golden form. And then next we have golden knockout Odin. Again, knockout Odin didn't get a gold form, so now we do. Knockout Odin comes with pretty much the same combo that Heat Salamander had. 12 for its disc and operate dash as its driver. Its operate is now in dash form and it comes with the 10 weight, which I guess this combo sort of fits Knockout Odin. They're sort of both. I don't know. But it for some reason has the same combo as Heat Salamander. So Knockout Odin 12 operate dash with the 10 weight. Then we are going to Bushin Ashura, which this Beyblade is kind of throwing a lot of people off because we already had a Golden Bushin Ashura. You were able to get that from the Bushin Ashura release. But my guess is Bushin Ashura was one of the, pretty sure the first Beyblade to get a Golden form the way you get the Golden Beyblades. So maybe Takara Tomi made it a little too hard to get the Golden Bushin Ashura and all other Beyblades easier. Selling products, I guess. But, um,. They're releasing Bushin Ashura maybe because it was too hard to get and they're making it easier because this this was one of the first Beyblades you were able to get in the gold form kind of like just buying more products. So that's my guess why Bushin Ashura here, is here. If not, they're just probably filling up a space. But Bushin Ashura, 13 as its disc, anchor as its driver, and the Sen weight. So Bushin Ashura. Then we have a Golden Chosey Valkyrie. Now this is one of the coolest Beyblades in the set because Chosey Valkyrie in golden form. So Chosey Valkyrie does have the burst stoppers when you launch it hard enough and it comes with three as its disc and guard as its driver. I don't, this is not really a good combo but just for the gold Chosey Valkyrie that's pretty cool and that's really the best part about that Beyblade. I don't know how it'll do but Chosey Valkyrie just the layer itself in gold form. Lots of people are fans of Chosey Valkyrie so this is a really awesome Beyblade. Then the last Beyblade, which is my favorite in the set, is Amaterios. Now I'm not sure if this is Shining, Burning, or Shadow Amaterios. Definitely not Shadow Amaterios, but it's Amaterios, and it comes with zero destroy dash. So this Beyblade is what I'm guessing might be the second prize bay if there is a second prize bay. And they usually just show the main prize bay, and usually the second is lower. But that's my guess because it's not gold. If they were to release it gold, then it would probably be just an extra Beyblade. But um, my guess is it's shining, and I'll go over that later in the video. But that's the random booster. The reason there's gold Beyblades is because Takara told me was doing a gold turbo thing, and these Beyblades fill up those empty spots that they didn't get. And Bushnashera is probably just there. Not sure, but Bushnashera is here. Chosey Valkyrie in golden form, which is awesome, in a Metal Series remake that is Burn Phoenix. So this random booster is a lot like the random booster volume 14 b132 had a lot of rare beyblades to other or it just had a lot of rare beyblades the black spriggan that you were able to get just like golden beyblades and they were re-released it but this one's different it's not re-releasing any beyblades it's just having new gold ones so this is a lot like the random booster volume 14 random booster so this random booster is pretty exciting for their last gt release it's after Big Bang Genesis, and after this release, we probably will have some rare Beyblades released, but they're not part of the B whatevers. And after this release, we are in the new season of Beyblade Burst. We have had some glimpses of what the characters look like and what the character designs are, but nothing really about the Beyblades, so I'm very excited to see what comes after this random booster. But now I'm going to go over some details about this random booster. And Amaterios, if this is shining or burning, this will probably be answered easily, but my guess is it's shining Amaterios because all the pieces in this random booster have pieces from both the shining Amaterios releases. There have been two that I know of the original shining Amaterios, which is a lottery Beyblade, and then the shining Amaterios that came in the Beyblade Switch game. And the shining Amaterios that came with the Switch game came with Amaterios. 3 Destroy Dash, which read how it was spelled, is Amaterios 3DS, which was kind of cool. But there is a 3 disc and a Destroy Dash driver, so you can make the Shining Amaterios that came with the Switch, and you can make the sh original Lottery Shining, or Shining Amaterios, because the Shining Amaterios that was in the Lottery was Shining Amaterios, Aero Dash, Angle, which is all in here, and Anchor. So you can make Shining, both Shining Amaterios, which is really cool, so if this was Burning, 
on Materius, which when burning on Materius was released was only the layer and it came with a level chip. In Shadow on Materios, it's not Shadow on Materios because you can see its shape. So my guess is it's Shining on Materios just with a red color. That way you can get the original and the new 3, um, 3DS on Materios. So that's something I know. It's not really important, but you can make on Materios, which will be really cool. And all the golden Beyblades, this will just be making, this is just going to get a lot of collectors to buy this random booster. And this is just something to get people really hyped about the new season and what they're doing. So this random booster to end off GT is very awesome. Golden Beyblades. But that's pretty much all I have to say. On this sheet, you do see it says $79. At first, I didn't understand what it was until Rob does Beyblades. Another Baytuber. You should go check out his video. And I'll leave it in the description also. I was wondering, so I asked him and he said... It says $79, but that's in that language and that, but it's the normal price where you live. Don't worry. It, it's going to be the same price as a random booster, and it's not going to be some overpriced thing because they're golden Beyblades. So that's pretty much all I have for this random booster. Like I said, it's coming September 22nd, 2020, this month. So that is going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, but that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching Way of the Bay.